modeling class for today, we're going to be looking at interpreting histograms. So it's really important for this lesson, you actually watch the video I did yesterday, where I was showing you how to draw a pictogram. So if you're not quite sure on how to do that, have another little practice before starting today's lesson. So, on the board, I already have a pictogram, one I found earlier. So, this pictogram here shows the number of days it rains each month. Remember, it's really important to check your key. And here I've got a rain cloud, and it shows me it represents two days. So for each rain cloud, it rains for two days that month. So now I'm going to ask Mrs. Upchurch to give me a bit of a hand and to ask me some questions. And I'm going to show you how I would work this out and interpret the data on the pictogram. Okay, so Miss McCartney, which month had the most days of rain? So most. Most is biggest. So I think about then. So I'm having a look. So... Looking across at the month, I'm looking for the most amount of rain cloud. Now I know straight away June has the most. Two, four, six, eight, ten, ten, fourteen. So June has got the most amount of rain, Mrs. Upchurch. Am I right? You are right, you well are done. correct. Um, well, which month had the least number of rainy days then? So in least, so if most was biggest, least must be less or smallest. So looking at the pictures, oh, I think it was May, Mrs. Upchurch. Two, only four days of rain. So only I think four it days. was May had the least rain. I agree. Um, so how many rays, how many days did it rain in total then in March? So in March, let's find March. How many days did it rain in total? Now I'm going to check my key here, I don't want to forget. So two days. So two, four, six, eight. So eight days in March, I think. Okay, cool. What about August? Oh, August. August is here. Again, it still represents two, so all full, number half, so it's going to count in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten days of rain. Mm. In um, well, which month had 12 days during which it rained? This is tricky because none of them say the number 12. So now I need to know, these represent two, so 12 days. I know my two times table. So I am looking for a day that has six rain clouds on because two times six is 12. So, can you help me find them? Does August have six? No, July. Oh, I've got no. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, we get April, Mrs. Upchurch. I agree. Well done, Miss McCartney. April was the month in which it rained for 12 days. Um, how many more days did it rain in June than in July? So, this is a really tricky question. How many more days did it rain in June than in July? So, let's have a look first. So, July it only rained two, four, so six days. If I look at June, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So is it 14 more days, Mrs. Upchurch? Mm, I don't think it's 14 more days, Miss McCartney. Oh, more. So mm. it rains six days. So I need to think how many more days is 14 than six. So it's an uncount on. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, eight days, Mrs. Upchurch. Excellent. Well done, Miss McCartney. Um, how about how many more days did it rain in April than in May? Now you know what more means. So how many more days did it rain in April than in May? So I can have a look here and I can see April and May. They're next to each other, it makes it a bit easier. They both are equal to here. They both had four days. So I can just count straight on the board. Two, four, six, eight days. Well done, Miss McCartney. Oh, Super. Okay. Um, right, how many days did it rain altogether? In the three summer months of June, July and August. Oh, so this one's going to be tricky now. I've got a lot of information. June, July and August. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make some notes. Because I might be able to get to the next four. So start in June. I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Then in July I've got 2, 4, 6. And then in August I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now, I could use the column method to line this up, but it's not very neatly done. And I know straight away, looking at 14, you can see my 4 and my 6 here, so 14 add 6 is 20, 20 add 10 is 30, so 30 days in total. 30 days in total for the summer months, brilliant. What about how many days it rained in the three spring months then? March, April and May. Okay, so let's have a check, let's make our notes this time again, I think it helped last time. So in March, 2, 4, 6, 8 days. In April, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 days. And in May, 2, 4 days. So again, I've lined this up neatly this time, so I could do the column method, but 12 
an eight, that's a nice easy one. 12 and eight is 20. 20 add four is 24. That's it. Brilliant. So it rained for 24 days in the spring months. Right, last one, Miss McCartney. Do it. How many more days did it rain in the summer than in the spring? Oh, so I know in the spring it rained 24 days, but I've rubbed off all my working out. So I'm going to have to work out the summer months again really quickly. So the so, summer were June, July and August. Lovely. So you might have kept notes of this already, Robin, so you might be able to work this out quicker than me. So, 2, 4, 6. 14, I'm going to keep counting, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. So you said how many more days did it rain in the summer months mm -hmm. than in the spring? So in the summer it rained for 30 days and in the spring it rained for 24. So how many more days is 30 than 24? Well I know I can add on 6 and that will get me to 30. So it rained for 6 more days in summer it's in spring. Excellent. Well done, Miss McCartney. 100%. Oh, Super. Round of applause. Woo! Wonderful. Okay, Robin's parents, over to you now to give us a go. So I hope this helped. Let us know on the blog how you get on. Good luck. Bye. Bye.